Hi and welcome to the Insecure Chef. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're here today and I'm going to whip up some Mexican style garlic shrimp. Uh, that's what they told me it was, Mexican. But we'll see how that comes out. As usual, the uh, ingredients of course are on the channel. Uh, so we'll just go through the process and then you can uh, follow along there. This recipe is for one person. Obviously double, triple or quadruple as necessary. So uh, we'll start out. What we're going to do is we're going to take a, a little salt and smoked paprika and uh, mix it together. I'm, I have that here in this little guy here. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, rub it on the, um, on the very clean and shelled and tails off shrimp. Uh, but before I even begin, maybe a quick look at the uh, ingredients just along the, from uh, my left. We've got olive oil. We've got minced garlic, we've got lime juice, smoked paprika, salt, butter, and parsley. Those are the ingredients. Obviously, there is also some onion here and some shrimp. Uh, I use uh, six shrimp, roughly a quarter of a pound. Uh, obviously, again, you can use as much as you want, but this is uh, roughly for one person uh, based on the way I eat. So we'll take it from there. So back to the preparation. I'm going to take this mixture of salt and smoked paprika and I'm going to sprinkle it on the shrimp. Okay. All right, and then we're just going to massage it around on the shrimp, rub it around. Get all that out of there. Okay, I'll dispose of that. And then I'm just going to use my hands. I'm just going to uh, get the shrimp as best as I can. Mix it in like so. All right, I mean, that's good enough. All right, let me just rinse my hands quickly. And uh, we're going to move over to the stove. As my wife travels around, you can mm -hmm. get a look at whatever she happens to be showing you. Uh, we've gotten a new stove. If you have seen any of the other videos, I might have seen the old stove. The old stove was an electric stove, which I'm sure millions of people love. I hated it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just didn't like the ability to, uh, I had a hard time getting it evenly heated, etc., etc. So uh, we have recently uh, done some major upgrades in the house, and I went and got a, uh, a gas, a natural gas stove. So in here, I'm going to be adding uh, some butter and olive oil. Butter, I'm going to put in roughly, oh, I guess about a tablespoon or so. Just cutting that up right now. I'm going to throw that in there. Let me sure I get all the paper off. I'm notorious for leaving some little piece of paper from the butter after I cut it. So that's going in. And with that, it's also going to be going some olive oil. Again, maybe a tablespoon or so. Okay, and then we're going to fire this up, and I'm going to move it over to about medium high, and uh, what we're going to wait for is for the butter to melt. So as soon as the butter is melted, we'll come right back. Okay, we're back, and you take a look here. You can see that I have uh, got now a nice melted, and I just noticed, as I said earlier, there's a little piece of paper left from the, oh, no. from the butter. <laughs> Amazing. I know my own faults. All right, with that said, I'm going to move that around. And what I'm going to uh, throw in now is the uh, garlic and onion. So let me get that going. All right. Gonna throw those in. Got a few more pieces here. Get those in, and then the garlic. Again, it's minced garlic. And again, on the uh, on the site will be the quantities. But this is going to equate to approximately a clove of garlic. And the beauty of these recipes is that you know, essentially, if you like a lot of garlic, then add more. Okay, just be careful you don't burn it. So we're gonna we're gonna saute this around. All right. 
All right, so the saute process for this will probably take about five minutes. So we'll be back in about four and a half. Okay, as you can see, the onions have uh, sauteed very nicely. It took about four or five minutes. And with that, I'm now going to add the uh, seasoned shrimp that we made earlier. They're going in. And we're just going to cook those through. And, you know, uh, as you well know, you know when the shrimp are cooked, uh, when they begin to curl a little tighter and they pick up a more translucent uh, pink color. Raw shrimp does not take long and the tendency is to overcook it, which is unfortunate because they're not inexpensive. <laughs> Sure smells good, that's for sure. Yes, it does. All right, once the shrimp are completely cooked, which as I said, you know, it doesn't take very long. And uh, if you've done them a couple of times, then you're fully experienced in cooking them. Also, the other safety way to do it is stick a thermometer in it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you need to, uh, if you're not comfortable uh, deciding on your own, what is the temperature, babe, for shrimp? 145. Is it 145? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think these are almost done. What do you think, right? Yeah, they're curling. They're I can't good. tell the color they're red. Yeah, now. right. Unfortunately, you <laughs> can't usually see the pink, but uh, the curl helps. Yeah. And, the, and the general feel for Feels it. Feels good. But again, you know, you can always stick a thermometer in. And then with that, I'm going to be adding a little lime juice, which is uh, very popular with uh, Mexico. Again, it would just normally be, uh, you know, the, the juice of maybe a half a lime. It didn't have any lime, so I'm, I'm cheating. So. Okay. And then I'll be... Finishing this with uh, a little parsley. Now I'm going to pour it over kiwa that's already been cooked. Of course, you can do it over rice. You can do it over uh, Chinese uh, noodles, Mexican noodles. Putting on some parsley. If I can get it out of here, I'll use the other side. Oh well. All right, there we go. Give it a stir, finish it up. There we go, you see. <laughs> That's all right, leave we'll it. We'll have a little cleanup when we're done. Yeah. All right, so with that, with that, we're going to be moving over and uh, going to be finishing that on top of the kiwa. filming so we'll find out. No, I did Okay. Yeah. All right, and there is your finished product. Mexican garlic shrimp over kiwa. So it smells good. Sure does. Unfortunately Regina can't eat it. But <laughs> be that as it may. So for the insecure chef and his lovely wife. Have a great night. And thank you for joining us and we'll see you again soon. Take care.